Hello there guys, it is Maxo Diddly here, and today I am here with your first SQL tutorial. So, we're going to go from the very basics to more complicated things over the course of this tutorial. It's aimed at people doing A2, aka A level, or the second year of A level. So if you're in AS, I don't believe you need to know any of this, but you can stay tuned and have fun anyway, and be ahead of the game, as the early bird catches the worm. Unless the worm is late. Then the early bird has to wait. That rhymed. I didn't, I didn't realize that. Anyway. So I'm going to be using Microsoft SQL and the Microsoft SQL Management Studio. You can use basically anything you want for SQL. However, there may be a couple of syntax differences. So if you do get an error, it could be because of that. And the user interface will be slightly different. But the rest will be basically the same. So first thing to do is actually open it up. So you'll get this when you open up. Don't worry about it. You just, you just click connect. Now, you might be like, right, Maxo Diddly, to create a new database, one must right-click on databases and click new database. Well, you'd be correct if you did that, you can do it that way. For this tutorial, I want to do it a different way because I want to be a cool kid. Because if you use new query to actually create your database as well as put in other queries, you're going to get laid. 100% guaranteed. So, yep, so basically we can create a database by using the query. We can do create database and peanut and call it peanut butter. You can give it any name you want. That's literally all you type. Create database, then the name of the database. And you click execute. And commands completed successfully. Want to click refresh or F5. Go into databases and look, peanut butter's there. So we successfully created the peanut butter database. Now you're probably going to want to have a table in this database. So to do that, first we need to use use peanut butter. What's this? Well, basically we're saying, okay, this query, we want to use the peanut butter database. So this query will run and anything in it will be applied to the peanut butter database. Because if we have multiple databases and we run a query to create a table, we want SQL to know where to put that table. Otherwise, you're going to be screwed. So we want to use use peanut butter. Then we want to do create tab table. Then we want to call it something. So I'm going to call it ducks. You can call it anything you want. Normal brackets. That's right. Normal brackets. Not square brackets or curly brackets or anything fancy. Just normal brackets. Then we want to do col id int. So what is this? Basically, to create a column for our table, we will type the column name, then the data type that we want to go into it. And int is just an integer, by the way. Then we put a comma after that, then we put enter for a new line. Then we'll do col name. Then we're going to do text, and it's a comma. Oops, comma. New line. By the way, I'd like to tell you that a text is basically a string and it can have the maximum length of 65,000 characters. So you're not going to fill it up, okay? It's fine. So like I said, you have your field, your column name, then you have the data type it is. And I'm going to put in one more, col age. And we're going to make it an int as well. So you might be like, okay, that's great. But however, I would like a primary key for all my tables. And if you want that, then that's good. Because having primary keys is a really, really good thing to have in your tables. So I'm going to tell you how you assign one or more of your fields that you've just created. I keep saying fields, I meant to say column. I'm very sorry, but they can basically be the same thing. So it's all right. I'm going to tell you how to assign one or more of your columns to a primary key. We're going to do primary key then in here we put in the column name so we want to do col id you can use a comma and then put in more if you would like more uh i need to put col id not cold id after the last bracket you hit comma not comma semicolon and that's all so if we execute it commands have been completed successfully so that is how you create a database and a table using sql or sql I like to say, guys, this tutorial series will be uploading. We'll be uploading quite frequently for this, as each of these videos will be short and sweet. But sure to leave a like if you enjoyed, leave a comment saying that you enjoyed it, or if you need help, leave a comment, or if you've got questions or queries.
<laughs> what am I doing with my life? <laughs>